My name's Jerry. My name's Jill. And, uh, well, we've, we've been having some problems with, uh, with, with our relationship. What, uh, well, they're quite serious, really. Well, they are serious. And, well, I caught Jill in bed with me brother. I'm Hayley. This is Phil. Things used to be so good between us and now they're not and I don't, I don't know what, I just feel like he's holding me down, he's holding me back and I don't want that, I love him, I love you. You see? It's... Are you joking? Really? Is she? Really? I know I did wrong. I said, I admitted it. But the whole casting me out of heaven, sending me to hell for all eternity, shebang, was a bit... Well, I mean, it was a bit much. Do you think it affected the relationship? Well, it didn't help it, Becky. By the way, this, you two, is sick. You're old enough to be his mother. I am his mother. Linda and Josh have been coming along to group sessions for several months now, and naturally, because of the press, around their situation. We're happy for them to express what happened in their own time. So who came on to who? Please. It you or... it's, it's okay. Um, Josh's father, sorry Josh, died about 18 months ago in a road accident in which Josh was involved. He was forced to wear terrible, terrible arm and leg casts. Daily routines such as eating, walking, bathing, were difficult. Having to wash his intimate part was very uncomfortable. The erections were involuntary at first. I'm glad we could laugh about it and be okay. But then I start to look forward to that part. Something inside me changed, but then the casts came off. We didn't return to normal. We began to bathe with each other. And the tension led to Josh quite aggressively taking me at, at first. But then we soon began to live openly as a couple. <laughs> Brilliant! Linda, that was very, very brave, very brave admission and shows real, real progress. Thank you, Dr. Keegan. I feel really empowered today. Oh, uh, don't, don't encourage him. He doesn't need that. Oh, and FYI, that thing around your neck, yeah? His son died on one of those, so, uh... I'm just showing my faith. Really? Would you go up to Prince William with the steering wheel? I don't need a lecture on my faith. That's a bit rich. Least of all by you. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, yeah. Coming from Mother of the Year. But can, can we just can we just calm well, down listen now, here. please? I, I don't have to put up with this. Do don't I? you don't you stop looking up at him? Yeah, don't look up at him. You're coming with me. Please, yeah, when you please, croak, you're coming we, with me. Please, you as well, calm Jimmy boy. Down, calm down. Sun fucker. Was she good? Was she? Did it feel good? Look, I think we're going off the point here. Um, perhaps we should all take ten minutes for a cup of coffee. You know this is why we don't get invited to any of the good parties. So, uh, fancy, um, maybe going out late? No? No? <laughs> Want a, uh, no? 
No. Too soon. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Too soon. Too soon. Ah, they're not listening to me anymore because they ate the apple. Ah. <laughs> Don't hide away, Jerry. Remember, vocalisation of the problem. You, what you did with with him, with uh, my brother, Robert, well, well, it's, it's not my fault that you went to bed with him. What? I'm serious. That took a lot of balls to stand up to his wife. Well done, fella. You're not the bad guy here. And who is the bad guy? Well, it's not Jerry. No. And it's not really Jill. Well, I mean, to be fair, it is a bit. You did fuck his brother. Oh, I think the real enemy here is the therapy itself. Really? Well, come on, Becky, of course. All this? Public? I mean, what does it do, Becky? What does it do? How does Linda sharing her disturbingly erotic story help us? It allows us to delve into their deep-rooted problems and find answers. Answers? Answers? Answers to what? The perfect relationship doesn't exist, yeah? Frankly, all relationships are perfect until things upset us. And what upsets you? About relationships. Specifically? I don't know, I just think what upsets me the most is how one person has to be labelled as the villain in a relationship. It, it's tough. It is tough, Jerry. I mean, feeling like nothing you do is ever good enough. That must be frustrating. It is frustrating because it just builds up... Resentment. Resentment, Jerry. Resentment. I mean, we try our best, don't we? I mean, no one's perfect. Oh, yeah. How is that helping? How? See, this is what I have to put up with. His holier-than-thou attitude all the time. I mean, it's very frustrating. I'm sorry, there's no smoking in here. Sorry. This is what I'm talking about. Why can I not have the things that make me happy? Because it's the law. <laughs> you would say that. You wanted to say something, Phil? <sighs> Look, I'm just saying that I think he would know what he should be allowed to do and what he shouldn't be allowed to do. You just have to stick your fucking oar in, as usual, telling people what's plain and fucking obvious. I was simply pointing don't, out... You don't need to point out, he's the fucking devil! No offence. You're right, mate. But Phil, I think what you need to see is that your anger at, towards this therapy is just masking a deeper problem towards other issues in your life. See, I was saying that. I don't know why you have to take this attitude. I'm only trying to help you. This. This is what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, he'll just explode at me, and then when I want to know what's wrong, he clams up. Do you want to respond to that, Phil? I think what you need to realise is that... You need to visualise... Bollocks. Bollocks. It's what you're talking, love. Try and visualise bollocks. Uh, Quiet, Becky. Let's try and do some serious work. Phil, look at me. Look at me, Phil. Come on. There we go. Okay? All that. Forget it. Let's just do this simply. What are you feeling right now? I just feel so angry. Angry, yes. Shush, Becky! Angry, yes. And what does that stop you from doing? Talking. Talking, exactly, talking, yeah? And then what happens when you calm down? I'll use the words. But the words, Phil, the words, where are those words? In me. In you, Phil, in all of us. So, Phil, now's the time. Say those words. Yeah. I, I shouldn't. You can. I just, I just... Shush, Becky, we're working. Say them. I, I can't. You can. <laughs> Phil. It's me. I fucking hate you. You have ruined my life. I just don't want you anywhere fucking near me. Yeah! Fuck you! Fuck you! And fuck you too! You want me, brother? You can have him! But you're not having me fucking house! I hate being wanked off, 
by my mother. It's embarrassing. Yeah, oh, Now that's therapy. Get out! Both of you! That could have gone better. Same time next week. Cheers! <laughs>